and it's loading. So you guys have many questions, right? I like questions. I think that, <laughs> that when, um, if, if anybody will have a question, that they have to gonna take it like on the chats and then we can see uh, and but ask you. sent you. them the PDF I sent you, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did, I did. Yeah, no, I, I yeah. sent them that. Yeah. Because people will ask, I know they'll ask, so <laughs> it goes to AI, yeah. between AI and machine learning. <laughs> it's okay. We can go ahead and ask. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so okay. I think we're already seven, so we can start. Um hi guys. Um thank you everyone for joining this meeting. Um we're gonna start um the rest can you know join as we go on. Uh we have a very special guest, Lina. Um very she's special. gonna tell us <laughs> yeah. Yeah. she's gonna tell us about herself what she does and what she's gonna teach us today we're super excited linda to have you thank you so much for you know attending and we are glad and we are we want to hear from you uh -huh. okay. the floor is yours <laughs> thank you so can you see my screen can you see my screen too it's fine so hi yeah, I'm, waving. I'm waving hi Hi, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joy, I'm Joy Linda, yes, I, I've been doing machine learning for the past one and a half years, um, my stack is in Python, um, Python backend, I do also software development with Python APIs, uh, Fast API, Django, um, I love Django, I love Django so much. I had to say that, and um, we have, what else do I do? Okay, I also write, write articles. Um, there's something I wanted to say. Okay, um, machine learning uh, came by accident. So you guys do projects. Hello? Yes. You do projects? Do you do? Yeah. Uh, fourth year and third year, right? Yeah. So machine learning was something we sort of like bumped into accidentally. It's something we never expected to do. So I started doing machine learning in my third year when I was doing my project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to talk about machine learning, what it is. I don't want to do a very deep uh, talk do in a bowl. So <laughs> I'll just do the basic <laughs> something to excite you. But something yeah. I want you to to while you're listening to me is um is okay, I'll just mention this. Um machine learning say kuna there's a lot of hype in machine learning. So uh what I'd like to tell you is machine learning is easy and using machine learning I can talk Swahili, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Usinge machine learning, machine learning, yeah. machine learning, hype, you'll be disappointed. So that's all I have to say for now. So let me begin. So how to get started? I'm doing machine learning with Python. Yeah. So everyone is, uh, you guys are comfortable with Python, right? Yeah. Here we are. So how many? So many people in your community are doing Python. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't say so many, but uh, a substantial amount of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Python is my favorite language. I tried Java, but I tell people Java made me cry. Oh, sorry for another <laughs> day. So, <laughs> so let's go on. So working as a data scientist. Yeah, as you can see, I have an image of a guy working as a data scientist, you see. So these other guys are like surprised with the money that he gets. <laughs> but the journey to become a data scientist is boring. <laughs> I'm boring in quotes. It's boring in quotes. <laughs> it's not actually boring. It's quite interesting. It's boring in quotes. Yeah. yeah. 
So mm-hmm. I cannot know the views of the audience. So I just I'll just go through how many people have heard of machine learning. So I'm thinking most of you have heard of machine learning, but most of you, uh, but the guys who've not like explored machine learning in depth, you think like it's more of the Terminator, then Konambia Logisai, the Terminator or robots or something. So, so yes, yeah, machine learning in any world which is okay, but the main thing in machine learning, the main thing, I think the main aspect of machine learning is data. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yes, machine learning kuna terminator, kuna robots, kuna self-driving cars, but you have to start from the bottom in machine learning, which is basic data. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how many people know machine learning? How many people are using machine learning? I don't know how many people are using machine learning mm-hmm. in your group. So how many people think they know or use machine learning? Ah, I don't skip because I cannot get the views of the people. So what is machine learning? Um, so from other Samuel, uh, machine learning is a field that gives computers the ability to learn without explicitly being programmed. So what that means is, um, okay, another definition. It's a subfield of artificial intelligence. So machine learning is about extracting knowledge from data. So it's all about you give your machine data, uh, you give your machine data, then it generates for you the rules. Yeah, it's that simple. Yeah. You give the machine the data, it learns from the data, then it, it then teacher, I mean teacher tasks you give it, it operates according to the data you're given it. Am I making mm. sense? Yeah. <laughs> yeah yes, so. you are. <laughs> so a little history, but I'm not going to do this history. I'm not because it's. Uh, I'll just give you a link. You know Chris mm-hmm. Orwa? You guys know Chris Orwa, right? Uh, not really. <laughs> Personally, uh, no. <laughs> you don't know Chris Orwa. So, <laughs> I don't know whether I should dive into this story, the German tank problem. Um, mm-hmm. How many people are there? I cannot see how many people are there. Oh, we're like 10. Oh, oh yeah, like how 10. many people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the German tank problem. Uh, I'll not talk about this today. <laughs> it will bore you, so I'll send you a link on Chris Orwa speaking. Mm-hmm. You guys have not particip- Is there anyone in the group who's participated in um in what in hackathons within Nairobi? Simon, uh, I did a hackathon, but I was in was in Meru, not Nairobi. Oh, you've never done a hackathon by AI Kenya? No, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Mm. So I think those are communities that you should get involved in. So the groups, the groups within Nairobi, um, which was those kind of events are like AI Kenya. The Google AI Kenya in their community, they have awesome, they have awesome events coming up. Um, they have hackathons, they have prizes, they host, they have good events. I think that's where you get to network with um, guys like Chris Orwa. You get to learn a lot from their community. Just check them out on Twitter. Um, I think they have a Telegram group. I'll send you the links later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how to get started with machine learning? Um. So uh, it's easy. I think first you just have to learn um, Python or R. I do Python. I don't know R, so don't ask me questions on R. Uh, <laughs> So there is um, data structures and algorithms. You've done this in class, yeah? Yeah, we have for the, th- I think third years and uh, third years have, and second years, I think it's a cousin second year maybe, uh, both applied and years. Yes, and basic statistics. So basic statistics, it's like the mean, the median, the mode, um, or concepts like outliers, standardization, normalization, you should learn those which will help you have an easy time on learning machine learning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So ML applications, so I think I think I mixed up my my things, but it's okay. So ML applications are many. Yeah. This is where the the robots come in. This is where the image processing, see computer vision, self-driving cars, 
um, information retrieval, face recognition, medicine. ML is being applied practically in every place like right now, I guess. Um, like I, I saw a very interesting ML, ML application recently whereby um, you guys read, read the news, right? Yeah. So according to your mood, uh, an ML application is able to determine whether it should give it should give you the good news or the bad news. So let's say 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 what? Uh, what can happen? What has happened recently in the country, which is bad news? So the, say there is an accident in in Mombasa, and you're in a bad mood. So they don't give you the bad news. They give you news like Sauti Sol is performing in Chuka tonight. Yeah. So they go. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I saw that it recognizes your mood, then matches it with the news it's supposed to give you. Interesting, right? So ML, uh, ML is here to is here to stay, and it will it's it, it's actually something that is coming up rapidly. Applications by you should follow Elon Musk. Look at what he's building. I think that guy is where fire. So I think ML ML is something that every developer should know. Because it will come as a plus for you. Yeah. So yeah. moving on swiftly, uh, I'll not talk on this right now. So there are categories of machine learning. So supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. So Lozi. Yeah, I can hear you. You guys are comfortable, right? Yeah, we are. So we in, are. In case, I think if anybody in case of any has questions, just, anything, yes, just ask. Yeah, please. you can interrupt. Feel they can type interrupt. It. Yeah. 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 Um, I think we lost Linda. Uh, Simon. Yes. I think we lost Linda. Um, I can't see her on the screen. Mm. Well, well, but I can see she's still online. Let me check. Yeah, she's still online. Fabulous. For um for the new people joining, um welcome. We had already started with you guys, you know, the late comers. <laughs> but <laughs> welcome. Our um, our presenter has you know network errors. She's <laughs> but she's still on, but we just can't hear from her for now. But she's gonna join us again. So um, oh, I think she is. Oh, sorry. You lost me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we lost you, Linda. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So where was I? Um the new people, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to this interesting talk. So where was I? You know what you happy? Uh you were showing us about I think it was supervised learning. Types. Supervised, yeah. Yeah, types. Yeah, so there are types of machine learning. So there's supervised, there's unsupervised, there's reinforcement learning. So um, supervised learning, I wish I had something to explain, a project to explain it to you with, um, uh, say, the simple email, email detection, whether uh, the email is able to detect whether an email is, is a spam or not, right? Mm. So in this context, you're giving, it, you're giving your machine data uh, classifying whether it's a spam 
or not. So being a sperm or not, that's a label. Unani pata? Yeah. 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 So that's the label data. Yeah. The other mm -hmm. supervised learning, you are catching on a pair machine, you are data. I love to expect you learn from the data itself. You don't tell it this is spam or not, just give it data. And then it it learns for itself in a different way. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yes, so you give it like um it's nikama you have like a group of people and you want to, to, to classify them as um nuds or not nuds. So you give the machine so you, this is an super so you give the machine the data expecting it to make an your machine in Angalia, um say ni mpupi and have glasses, uni nad. Um say have glasses, usi nad. So machine in your ina in a jilebolia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we are. So reinforcement learning, should she me explain your mom just here? Oh, we haven't had that one. We didn't hear that. Ah, one. I went up from that team. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> reinforcement learning, as I was saying, it's um you train your machine um to okay. How many people have watched the AlphaGo documentary? I have. <laughs> Uh, not most of you have watched the alpha go so um i'm picturing you're playing chess yeah mm -hmm. you playing chess with a machine now see so you play chess and check out with your laptops yeah yeah so um the machine is able to challenge you so when the machine makes a correct move it's it's rewarded by other moves yeah so you have like mm -hmm. the agent which is getting a reward yeah yeah the agent being the game so in the game when the game of checkers uh, makes the right move against you it's, it's awarded with other moves which it can make against you but if it fails mm -hmm. in any more moves yeah mm -hmm. we good right yeah we good if you have any question just feel free to ask feel free to ask mm -hmm. so these are just diagrams on what I meant, um, supervised learning, sorry, you give it raw data, um, an algorithm, then process, then give it the output. But here now, mm -hmm. you expect your data to learn about the, I mean, the machine to learn about the data, yeah? And you have reinforcements, mm -hmm. yeah. So, you good till there? Yeah, we good. So machine yeah. learning is classified into um, supervised and unsupervised. And um, I'll not talk about the neural nets. Neural nets is something you go, you go look for yourself. So <laughs> 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 you can see what you can see. So machine learning, classical learning. I mean, machine learning, just ignore the classical learning circle and look at supervised and unsupervised. So supervised is categorized in, regret, in regression and classification. So regression deals with continuous values. Yeah, values is in yeah. a continuous like temperature. Um, what else do you have as continuous value as weights? We have mm -hmm. like the levels in there and consistent. It doesn't mean consistent, but consistent, like number values, yeah? Mm -hmm. Classification in a congazile is a male, female, it put you it put it puts you it puts you in categories, yeah. Yeah. Classical learning, I mean the other one is unsupervised learning where you have dimension reduction, you have pattern search and clustering. So um unsupervised learning is uh, dimension reduction is basically algorithms as na when you detail a quick when dogo. Like it releases your data, yeah. Mm. Clustering is more of in a cluster what will and mesema come out with your wing in a cluster come out your nuts you're not nuts you're semi nuts it's something like that yeah okay so pattern search is looking for just patterns it's nothing much as it's the name says or something so python most of you have used python i'm sure python is the easiest language 
in the world. So that's something we'll argue, <laughs> but die. Apart from this, whatever. So Python is the easiest. Okay, take a cut to argue, to argue, but die. Yeah, but Python is the easiest language for now. In two weeks, the easiest language. Maybe to you, it's Go. Or mm-hmm. JavaScript or Java, Java language that made me cry. I have to mention that again. So, <laughs> so, so wait, wait, Linda, Linda, um, are you sharing your screen? Your screen, because we we can't see it. If you're sharing, oh, we can't see it. What has happened when I when I was away? <laughs> when I was away, what happened? Okay, let me just correct it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Huh. Okay. Um, um, okay. So you are comfortable? Yeah, we are now. So as I was saying, Python. Um, I wish I wish I had something from the audience who would like to to talk about Python experiences, that kind of Python, I'm like, it's not possible. <laughs> um, I, I don't think it's really possible for them. Oh, it's not possible, oh, it's okay then. So Python... They, can't, they don't have access to the mic, to my microphone. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, me. okay. so... Yeah, so Python is interpreted high level general purpose programming language and the best language ever that you can learn, especially for beginners. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Python is something you can start with easily and mm-hmm. or JS, but you ch- you do you. Let me just say you do you. Maybe your language is C++. Yeah, so why choose Python for machine learning? Uh, Python has re- uh, very good l- libraries. It has Scikit-Learn. Um, Niliana, when you have on Azure Machine Learning Studio, mm-hmm. have you used Azure ML Studio, right? Yeah. Does he have you used Azure? No, no, I use Scikit-Learn. You use Scikit, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah. I've used Azure, Azure too. So, Azure is like making work easier for the non, for the people who don't know machine learning. Um, I don't think Azure the rate make a lot of code. It's an auto ML sort of platform. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So why choose Python for machine learning? Uh, as I was saying, Python has many uh, libraries that support machine learning. We have Pandas, we have Scikit-Learn. Scikit-Learn send your babayao, it carries like all the algorithms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So which uh, Python, okay, this is not a, this was the second question, just ignore it. Yeah, it's something maybe I wrote when I was sleepy. <laughs> it wasn't going to be there. So we have pandas, like I was saying, pandas in the idea to learn more about your data. You see, when you're learning, I think um, I forgot to mention, I told you that when it comes to machine learning, you should know, you should like hold your data close, like some. Data is the most essential thing when it comes to machine learning, when it comes to AI, when it comes to data science, you just name it like data and your killer key too. So you have to learn about your data so that you can execute. Yeah. Um, you have to do like, you have to um, work with data. Oh, Linda. Linda. Yes. Are you there? Oh, we've lost you again. You lost me again. <laughs> I, 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 this is weird. Have you lost me? Am I there? Uh huh. Okay. Lodzi, can you hear me? I can hear you, Linda. So, um, Sijapote, I'm Cindy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but somehow there's a background voice and like the voice is repeating itself. On my end. Yeah. On my end, there's a okay. I'm in my I'm in the office, so okay. I don't know. Is everything okay? Right? It's not, so, but but Naniskia, uh, audience, Naniskia, kindly type. Feeling the come on Naniskia, I should change where I am. 
What is Lozi? Is it Lozi or Lozi or Lozi? Is it Lozi? It's okay. Lozi. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, you guys can see my screen. This is an echo. I was talking about pandas, yeah. So pandas help in data wrangling. I'm still sharing my screen, right? No. I, I can see your screen. You can see my screen, okay. Let me stop sharing and share screen again. So share it from my screen. So mm -hmm. anyway. So there's pandas. Yeah, I've talked about pandas at length. You satisfied? I hope you are. So if you have any questions, okay, sorry, I'm not very good at explaining, but if you have questions, I'll explain, yeah? So we have pandas. Okay. Um, we have matplotlib. Uh, it's, it helps in plotting, very beautiful plots. Um, there's numpy, there's scipy, um, there's bokeh. For those who work, I, I love bokeh. Um, yes, there are many libraries to, use, to choose from, yeah? So, which is the best interactive environment for machine learning? Um, well, it depends. It depends with you. This is so on you. So we have um, Google Colab. Um, there's Kaggle Notebooks. There's Visual Studio Code. There's Jupyter Lab of Notebooks. So you guys are working with this Visual Studio Code. Personally, I was trained Jupyter. Right? Yeah. Simon, am I there? Yeah. So Next, most of yeah. you most of you have worked with Visual Studio Code, right? I'm sure this is the number one mm -hmm. editor for most of you. Well, personally I was trying Jupyter Lab. Oh, you tried Jupyter? I also tried I also do yeah. Jupyter. I also do Jupyter. Google Colab, um, it's online. It's something you can also use. Um Kaggle notebooks. Um you people use Kaggle? Um, I've, I've never tried Kaggle. But you get your data from Kaggle, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yes. Um, Zindi, have you used Zindi? Uh, not really. I should try Zindi. You should try Zindi. Maybe you can create a team where you can win money. Um, they mm -hmm. have very good, um, they have very good, um, what do I say? Very good competitions. So we have the machine learning process. Um, so like I say, data is everything in machine learning, data is everything in AI. Without data, you cannot produce good product in machine learning stock AI. So we we will collect the you collect data, that's where we start. Then data is processed, then you pin data. Data data from the world, it's it has its its flaws. Um, maybe there's missing data, maybe there's repetitive data. So you have to get rid of this kind of data first. Mm -hmm. Then you explore the data. When we are saying explore the data, it means you build graphs. Um, you, what else do you do? What else do we do? We, we, we see graphs. We, what else do we do? Oh, we can uh, the mean, we can place the mode. What else do we do, Lozi? <laughs> Or oh, the visualizations of data, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you can find um, the feature selection. And yes, we do those kind of things. Um, don't worry, I'll show you a project. The ones who are newbies to data science, I'll I'm quickly showing you a project which I did recently, so don't worry. Um, so we have machine, then you apply the machine learning algorithms. Um, mm -hmm. Then later you communicate um, and visualize them report your findings when you build a data product. I think something um, as a data scientist you should also remember is that um, when you are when you're building your your project, you should not focus on which algorithm you're going to use. Like um if you could focus on um, for a moment you should not just focus on the problem. Um make sure it's making business sense. As in, make sure it's a good idea for the biashara. 
don't uh, even when you're approaching other projects, don't like build a pro build a project like kitu uh kali like kuna taka ikwe like kitu technical vibaya sana make when you i call it and i talk about idea like think of the business side of the project you create a project of idea and biashara yeah when you zonda bitu kali kwa kwa portfolio yako by the end of the day you create a kitu ka it is a idea to build a business yeah so don't like you see you see never think of a project like um something to show off that should be your last that should be like your last um thing in mind you should think of something that will help you like build a business yeah yeah to yeah. kosawa so mm-hmm. as data scientists yeah. that's what i'm saying as data scientists or as ml practitioners you should look at your data um think of the business problem how you're going to solve the business problem mm-hmm. yes yeah. then after that um create your product if your product should involve robots it's okay use the robots if your product will use a simple ml algorithm it's okay use the ml algorithm right mm-hmm. yeah so that's why the main steps when doing an ml project is look at the big picture yes understand look at the, the what the big picture means is look at the problem yes then get the necessary data don't take the unnecessary data because it will frustrate you for nothing you will get results that the ne how can i not to get no no so discover the data and get insights um prepare the data uh, select the model and train it um find mm-hmm. the model and present a solution and launch and monitor your system it's that simple it's just like um basic um software engineering but here um machine learning the emphasis are on the data yeah you've heard data is a new oil or um, data is a new i don't know yeah this is a new oil yeah it's the new oil it's the old oil yeah so <laughs> yes case study oh i had a case study okay so let me just finish this and i'll show you what that i did so technical process driven machine learning um we have hardware so you've heard of gpus Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. isn't isn't even machine yeah. learning like like the technical advancements in the hardware space? Yeah. Uh, we have data sets, mm-hmm. so you can get data sets from everywhere. You can get data sets from Kaggle. You can get data sets from Zimbi. And mm-hmm. people are building more algorithms day in day out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, why should you start mm-hmm. studying start learning ML? So why should you start learning start learning ML? I need answers from you. Simon? Yes, can you add on the question? You've got why should you start learning ML? <laughs> well, well, well. Why why do you think people should start learning ML? Why should people start learning ML? Yeah? Because of the But basic reason. Think- Yeah? To solve okay. to solve a problem. To solve a problem. <laughs> to solve a problem. <laughs> yes, and to get money. Like this is the case we have a working data scientist, yeah? But the process is boring. Um another thing I realized about machine learning is um to do machine learning you should be a reader. Like a very strong reader. Yeah. Like get read read papers, get read read books. Um get ready to just work hard yeah? yeah yeah like read a lot like yeah. to be a machine learning engineer you have to read and read and read and read and read um <laughs> and read and read some more and read some more and um i forgot <laughs> to say this um self trained i never like went for certification for this it's something i did i i taught myself from scratch so wow Um, It's impressive. Yes. So, where to practice machine learning competitions? We have machine learning competitions where they give you money. You should Google this. They give you good money. They give you good money. Yeah. There's Kaggle. Mm-hmm. I've never won one. Sijai Shinda, but there's good what I try. <laughs> so, there's Kaggle. <laughs> yeah, there's money. If you're money oriented, this is a place for you. Um um Zindi there is also good cash the good thing about zindi it's that it's african it's african based um kaggle is globally based yeah um medium mm-hmm. you can just read your articles um i also i'll just share also my articles on medium concerning machine learning yeah 
So other sites I would recommend are uh, the bigdatalife.com. Um, you can just screenshot it. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we good. You screenshot. Yeah. And, and I think you, you should also give us um, um your slides. Slide. You should send it to us. Oh, okay. My my yeah. slides, okay. My slides, okay. I'll send yeah. them to you. So. These are my personal accounts. So if you feel like reaching out anytime, I'm I'm a free person. You can just text or call. Or yeah, not call. Um <laughs> <laughs> calling me can do later. Um and my advice um this off evening will be be so good they can't ignore you. So in whatever you do, if it's in machine learning, just be good at something. Um being good at something will save you a lot. Yeah. Feel like ma ujue vitu mingi juu vitu moja tu like kama ni machine learning juu vizuri usijue ti flata kesho ujue sijui hi no 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 but if you can do get in a discourage mm -hmm. but be good at something make sure there's something you share in as long as as much as unajua language is kumi make sure kuna language ya mtu akikuita hauwezi shindwa like mtu akipambe hey nisikia wewe ni maswa paito i mean flata unangara hiyo flata vizuri like usiku sijui vitu mingi we have big to pause today, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so I'm done with that. So I'm going to the project side. Are you guys okay? okay? Is there a question? Um, in the chat, I'm not seeing anyone has asked a question. Uh, if you have a question, you can ask on the chat. You can just type it, and we'll read it out aloud. I'm talking. I'll try Jupiter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, feel free to ask anything. Feel free to ask anything. Uh, atakama, okay, sorry. In quotes, not say maybe in quotes. Atakama yu sole ni ufala aje, in quotes. Hakuna sole ufala. In quotes. Yeah? What is that? Yeah. Yeah. I can see, there is a question. Lozzy. Okay, would you please uh -huh. expound on data analysts, um, business analysts, and which point they overlap? Yeah. I saw the document review, Lozi. You can hear me. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. They lost me. They lost me again. <laughs> no. We can hear oh. you. Lozi, Lozi, I can see there's a question. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> From Joshua. Uh, yeah, this person is saying, Linda, are yeah. you here? Yes, I'm not scared. There's someone saying, um, BS has really been a buzzword, and recently I'm seeing full stack BS. Would you please expound on that, please? Business analyst and also financial analyst. Is there a point where all these overlap? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, fine. I'll answer that later. Okay. Any other question? So, so I, let me okay so that's open up so i should it's me who should show you a project i did do you have yeah. do you have to attend bs boot camp okay so if it's something that you, if you can uh come on as a come on as a attend in the boot camp misawa you attend um sahi angalieni um i think the best place to study um if you look into study like and get a certification in data science i think this is the best place to study the analytics lab you can just google it it's a good place they started a beginner class um was it a month ago yes but it's a good place to learn or um this is other school um there's also jenga uh, um, oh sorry jenga um and there's also a guy you should follow if you want to be a good data scientist and look at his videos on youtube his name is chris Orwa. he's a very good speaker um um i'm not uh if, Hey, Linda.
Nazi. Yeah, I think we've lost Linda again. Because I can't hear from her. Um, I th we just give her some time to get back. Um, anyone with a question, you can keep posting them. And she'll answer. We're going to read them out loud and she's going to answer every question. Unmute. Miss Buck. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, you're back now. <laughs> So I was saying you should look at Chris Ora, you should look at AI Kenya. These are communities that will help you. They have good videos on YouTube. Yeah? Yeah. 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 So let me... So data science. Yeah. So let me just see if I can find it. A feature white. <laughs> okay, so uh -huh, no, it wasn't here. So it was Brian. <laughs> so then it'll be number mm -hmm. two text mining. Mm -hmm. So, is there any other question while I'm looking for my where I, I, I put my project? General logistics. Okay. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you, Linda. Maskika. Same on the end of Afi. Same on the end of Afi. No, I'm just muting my mic. Okay, so this is um Jupiter. For those who are new to Jupiter, this is Jupiter. Um this is where basically we do all our projects. So we have you create your new you create your new document here, you create your new notebook here. Yeah. So if you want new, you create your new. Yeah. So you can open the terminal, you can access a folder, you can you can do good things with with Jupyter. So um and there's something you should you should uh no, I'll I'll say this later. So um, one thing, me, yes. Linda. Yes. Is it possible to zoom your your screen? To zoom. To to zoom the font in the web. To zoom what? To zoom the font in the web. Oh, to zoom my font in the web. So. No, no. That's better. Yeah. Though, yeah, that's better. Yeah. You know, I can. Yeah, yeah, it's much better. So, as you can see, machine learning is boring. In quotes, this is what we do, <laughs> the beginners. But I, I'm hoping when a graphs will not okay as I think this is the first thing that made me happy. As in seeing the graphs, getting the graphs with code, it's something you guys should look forward to. It's something very interesting, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to talk about this project. Um, this project, um, Haraka Haraka, even my team is almost up. So, <clears throat> um, this is a project which was done on Zindi. 
stuff. Ah, sorry. My laptop is hanging. So I thought you just love to look at Mangalia to Zindi, just Google Zindi.com. Um so um Zindi uh, what we're trying to solve here is um the main question, the main thing on this project was um it was to identify the patterns in relationship between the business and the variables, yeah. Um, yeah. So as I said, okay, but your problem your machine learning, you have to convert it to a business understanding. Yeah, let's not convert to a business to see how it will help you. Yeah, convert it to a better problem. Yeah. So yeah. the business problem was how, as you can see, I've done the same here. So the business problem was, sorry, how can we make our services reliable, reduce the cost of doing business through improved source management and planning for order scheduling, right? So you have, mm, I have okay. had to convert like my problem to business, yeah? Business idea, business, yeah? Mm. Mm. So, you convert it to a data problem, yeah? So, you convert it to a data problem, yeah? So, I'll send, I'll also share this, so share this. So, data understanding, as I said first, the basic thing for machine learning is data, is data, you have to understand your data. So, first, um, I define an important necessary uh, leads, yeah. So I'm importing mm. numpad, I'm importing pandas, I'm importing date time, I'm importing matplotlib, um, sibon. Sibon is a plotting uh, lib. Um, I'm importing warnings. Um, I'm importing now we have from sklearn that's where I import now the the label encoder, the train test fleet, the uh, crossbar score, and the mean squared er error. Yeah, then it is where we got everything. Yeah, sorry, Nikonara mm. Kakidogo. Um, then you have to understand your data. How how many columns does it have? How many rows does it have? So you do that by the shape. Mm. The shape mm. of function. Yes? Mm. Yeah. yeah. So moving on swiftly. Um I hope this is not too technical. I think I was scared to put this in my project because it would, it would scare people away. Yeah. Oh, well, I think it's fine. You think it's fine? Yeah. <laughs> I'll share this. I'll share this. <laughs> so, um, I forgot to mention that um, we have we have test data and the train data. Yeah. So the train mm. data. Yeah. You have to divide to divide your data into train and test. Mm -hmm. So the test, the training data is basically used to train your machine, and the testing data is used to quangalia how accurate your machine is making predictions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Because our. Mm. Yeah. So that's what here I'm basically doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll not I'll not deep dive into that because it are too technical. So ex let's go to exploratory. Uh, by um, looking at first, I look at numerical variables. Mm. Yes, where we get like to plot. This is a box plot. Look at the outliers. That's why I'm saying statistics is very, 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 very essential. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You see the wonderful graphs. I hope into our pair's sake, you're machine learning a graph. No, I'm learning super. Yeah, I'm learning super. So you can try it out. I think um, I like the Gapminder graph. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so this this project is too heavy. Now go back on into details. So then I go to the target variables. I look at, yeah, like my graphs. Okay, it's not essential. Seek it to essential, but for for your clients, if you are a data scientist, mm. you have to explain your findings. So you need these graphs mm. as proof. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So I think machine learning na funga place kidogo sana where you import your algorithm and just with it you are just able to make predictions. Like here I'm using the light GBM and the XD mm. boost. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So I think I'll just stop there for now. I think I'll do questions. Mm. Like I had this question from um business analyst. Um honestly I don't know how to answer to that. Mm. Um, 
but nimetumia nani pdf i mean that document has like everything everything you need to know it's there ndio mpitia pdf i think some have if you haven't please go check it out yeah so i can see there's a question uh, just when it come on a jz it was also me hearing from you um can we ask um as there have been several uh, linear uh, what would you advise someone i think you should start from the basics yeah and yeah. then uh, the best algorithm ya kutumia mi personally ni random forest mm. random okay. forest do it solves both um continuous and yeah na solving both classification and regression tasks but um ningetaka ujue like the basics of linear regression though it's not a powerful it's not very powerful but ni vizuri ujue jitafanya u compare unajua kwa interviews they ask you like um um they ask you these questions like they ask you like um stories cuz linear regression they ask you questions. yes yeah that's, that's all basically next um, so um you can um like just start from the basics um ninge recommend kitabu flani ni to get started with machine learning yeah already getting started with machine learning and now uh, already um python yeah something like that i'll send lovey a, a, a book um by tonight i guess Um is there any other question? You can ask anything. You can also ask her all the time. I don't mind. Anyone but nimeharakisha. Nimeharakisha his session ju ye aki time. Uh see yeah. you should be home early. Yeah. You got the Oh okay. Okay, you got the book so you'll share. Yeah. Yes. Anyone who has a question for Linda before she goes Mm-hmm. Um natumia Ubuntu juni like ju naweza ku deal easily na virtual environment za Python. Mm. Eh mimi Python dev so <laughs> napenda <laughs> kutumia Ubuntu juu hiyo. Yeah. Jesha nimejibu swali yako. But feel free to to reach out. Yeah. Um my handle on Twitter is um that so if you have any question just ask i think i should do another session a longer session yeah you should. i think i should do it i'll do it next year i'll do it with a more beginner friendly i do not want to do the iris and the setosa because it's boring yeah um what about well what about recommendation systems recommendation systems come on what about them like what is your question the recommendation systems same one be specific time is running i need to get home <laughs> the algorithm used for recommendation systems huh? for recommendation systems i think it's it's a mixture ju na picture kitu kama kama nini kama youtube for example no na youtube vile <coughs> they when you open your home page like kila home page ina kwa different for a person like utapata wewe unasikiza house sana so they give you more house music yeah yeah so i think they this they watch your patterns over time so mm. I'll, i'll put that in supervised learning because wana kusoma pole pole they yeah. wana soma leo huyu amewatch the sagu yeah kesho amewatch the kush yeah so mm. the next time you come ataku recommend ya hiyo Yeah. I'm also recommending something to do with comedy in the same track, yeah? Mm. Now say YouTube or like categorize Mizao if you want comedy, if you want music. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Pamoja Simon. Tuko pamoja. Ah, kama jibili. Anybody who has a question um take I, I'll, I'll do another session, I promise. Yeah. Okay. I'll do another session. Mm. Yeah, but if you if you have uh, if I'm also a mentor, if you feel like you wanted to you want to be mentored in um in um 
data science you can ask and you're serious eh usikuwa joka you can ask Lucy for my number eh yeye mepeana permission ati what uh tools to use i use power bi power bi and but i hardly use them but nikiwa na haraka nazitumia anga tunaenda kwa power bi most of the time sije tumia tabii excel yes So you guys comfortable? Yeah we are. Uh, so, sure. So mko mm. sawa? Uh, I, I, I also mentor I have I have two students so far. We are good mm. tunafanya machine learning pamoja so if you feel like you and your serious mesma and your serious underline and your serious it's okay you can ask Lucy for my number yeah. Mm. yeah. So I think I think and that's... and check kindly check Zindi and Kagul Zindi mm-hmm. especially participate in those competitions we want you to win money so that you can sponsor us to Naivasha <laughs> 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 Okay I, I think Saimo do you have anything to add before we close Well no uh, I'm satisfied Okay Um I I hope everybody enjoyed this session. She didn't get too in depth because you know it's still a packing but we we we're, we're definitely going to have another session with her that you're going to see how she codes and all the other demos and you're going to have fun. This was more of a theory session. Um so thank you so much for attending. Um I think we are we are at the end of our session. Thank you so much Linda. We appreciate you for coming and taking your time you know, to be with us. Uh thank you so very much. Um I don't think we I don't think there's anything else. Our our patron wasn't able to attend but she'll be she'll send her regard. Um and that's it for today's event. Thank you everyone. I think we can we can leave. Say hi in Chuk when I come home. Yeah you should. Yeah, you should you should. I don't think it's possible. Maybe it's very possible. Chuk is home. <laughs> yeah. I, I can yeah. come I can come and give you a physical session yeah that will be easy for me it's, it's going to be awesome it's okay. going to be awesome much i have to leave i have to go home jam is me pate okay thank you <laughs> bye <laughs> i think everybody else can 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 leave they coming guys <laughs> mm-hmm. brenna